So howdy all. Howdy, howdy, howdy. What are we all waiting for? I'm following a bus, by the way, again, because I seem to have the worst luck. But it is Friday, so woohoo! Friday, Friday, Friday. Another week down, another weekend to spend playing cars, wasting time. It's not really wasting time. I enjoy it. That is if I get home. We are currently struggling for mileage. Oh, one mile, dear dear. I better get to a uh, better get to a petrol station. <laughs> Otherwise, I ain't gonna make it. Softly, softly on the right foot. Topic for today: this car for a change. <laughs> As I've said previously, I've uh, I've got a few plans for this car. Gently, James. Gently, gently. Oh, distance zero. Now I'm panicking. <laughs> I've been here before and I actually run out. So I need to get to that petrol station. Like, sharpish. Otherwise you'd be watching me push. <laughs> yeah, so this car, what I want to do is just a few little modifications. Something like a black roof would be nice. I want to tint the windows because I, I, I do feel like in this car I'm in a uh, bit of a goldfish bowl so tinted windows would, uh, would be a nice addition I think. I don't know whether I'm going to do that, I might get somebody out to do it because I don't trust myself with the windows. But with the black roof I might give that a go myself. Should be easy enough, it's only a sticker after all. Famous last words eh? I'd also like a splitter for the front and I have found one and I might buy it today we'll see we'll see I I don't want to waste money I want to spend it on the on the flex as being as I'm in the mood to spend money on that this can wait it's working as a daily I've just got the bug anyway I'm at the uh, at the fuel station I'll be right back with you I made it. Woohoo! Seventy-seven pounds to fill up. For those of you who are good at math or maths, depends where you live. That is roughly three pound a mile. <laughs> Actually horrendous. But I didn't buy this for miles per gallon. I bought it for smiles per gallon. Well, I feel a little bit better now. We've got some fuel in here. Not worried that I'll end up pushing this behemoth. Anyway, back to mods. Black roof, black splitter, and I want a red uh, accent stripe on the splitter because that's an option. And I was also thinking, I've got these chrome strips on the side of the car. I was thinking of having them. Oh, a little bump on the, on the room the boot. Oh, argument. Yeah, so the chrome strips on the side of the car, I'm not a greatest fan of them. They make the car look older than it is, and a little more executive than it probably is. So I was thinking of getting them wrapped red as well, because it's easily undone. What do you reckon? Let me know. Check your opinions in the comments. I'm sure I'll read them and take them on board. But that's just the idea for now, I'm, and the way I'm thinking, it's 20 quid for a, for a bit of vinyl. If I wrap them, and I don't like them, I can always pull it off and it's no harm, no foul. I just wasted more than 20 quid in fuel. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking um, black roof, black, uh, sorry, red stripes down the side of the um, get rid of the chrome, and then the black splitter with the with the with the red accent stripe on it. I think that would look quite nice, and it will give the car a bit of a a meaner looking edge, which I, I kind of want. And again, nothing permanent really, because. 
I think I bought this car and it's quite a nice standard example. So if I was going to do any modifications to it, I'd want to be able to set it back standard if I if I can to set it on. The only things that I would probably do that are, are semi-permanent is change this flipping steering wheel because I hate it. It's too big. The buttons are in a stupid place. It looks ugly and it's made out of probably real cheap fake leather <laughs> and it just doesn't feel nice to, to drive with. Having come from my previous Ford Focus it had the nice leather trimmed flat bottom steering wheel which felt sporty and, and, and thick in your hands and it was nice to drive with. This is, is taking quite a few steps back and I, I'll be honest I just don't like it. I want something, uh, I want something new. So that is a major modification I'd like to do and probably have another red accent on, on, on the wheel as well to, to match the red interior as well because the red interior also matches the red stripes on the outside. That is a uh, semi-permanent mod that I want to do to this car because as I said I just don't like it and I'm sure any kind of newer looking feeling steering wheel. Ooh, Mustang. Master, and he made me this color so that I may talk. Squirrel! My Is it a 5 litre? Can't hear it. We'll find out now. I think a newer looking, feeling steering wheel will be um, will be a board worth doing, I think. On top of that, I want to change the head unit because I think I've complained about it previously and that's why I started talking to you is uh, is the head units old it's not really up to scratch these days and when I'm not sat in the car talking to you lot then I like to listen to music and I like to listen to the music I choose not the music that the radio decides to play 400 times a day so that's another thing for in here and then last I'd like to paint the brake calipers red as well because, you know, hashtag boy racer. Nice BMW M3. AR. Not heard of that before. Anyone know what that is? Nice M3 though. What was a car I wanted, but never a car I could afford. <laughs> so I ended up with a cheaper baby brother. The Mercedes. Yeah, red, uh, red brick calibers. I think that's more of a weekend uh, job though and I need to find the right type of paint that I'd like to paint it in as well. So with the red brick calibers, the red striped on the side, I think it'll look, um, it, it'll fit in quite nicely with the red interior as well as the red accents on the wheel. That's my thinking anyway and I'll probably do a, most of that for fairly cheap so we'll see what, um, see what the output is and, and, and see if we like it or not. Comments and, uh, and criticisms welcome as always. And like I said, put your opinion down in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll have a chat about it. The only other thing I can think of that I could potentially want to do is put some lowering springs on it. But I have promised myself after six years of driving brand new cars that lowering cars generally ruins them. <laughs> the new cars I've had have been fantastic and I haven't changed them at all. I haven't lowered them and they've been fine. The older previous cars I've had, I've lowered them and they've been a mixture of rubbish to terrible to drive and I don't want to ruin what is my daily driver when I've got the Flexus waiting in the wings. So lowering springs might be an option because it's the it's the softer option. Definitely not coilovers, definitely not lower than I don't know 10 15 millimeters. Maybe go as far as 30 if, if that's my options. It's something I'm not sure of. It's going to have to be one of those things that, and, and we're talking 170 pound for springs as well, so it's a lot of money to spend if you don't like it. I suppose I could always sell them on, but it's something to think about, and, and it could always be done last. So yeah, that's the plan I've got for this car. Let me know what you think. I'm done for the day. I'm done for this week. It's home time. Time to play with cars. Woohoo! See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! <laughs> Shall we listen to the car going through the tunnel? I think we should listen to the car going through the tunnel. Because I'm a big child. Second gear. 
and floor it. <laughs> I might end every video like that, like who knows. <laughs>